Welcome back, friends. This is the version 2 or part 2 of Automatic Invoice in Excel. In this tutorial, we will look into how to maintain a database sheet automatically every time we create and save a new invoice. In the first part of this video, we learned creating an automatic invoice template from scratch. So, if you have not watched the part 1 video, request you to watch that first for better understanding. First, let me quickly demonstrate what we're going to do here. Here I have made an invoice. When I save this invoice, all the details of invoice should automatically go in this database sheet. Let me hit on that Save Invoice button. Invoice saved in PDF. Let's check in the database sheet. The details of invoice is transferred here. So, in this video, you will learn how to do this. Let's get started. First, create a new sheet to maintain the invoice or sales database. Rename this sheet as database. Put the required column headers. These are invoice date, invoice number, buyer's name. Go to invoice sheet and copy the other column headers which are from B12 to H12 range. Go to database sheet and paste these headers as values. Next, we need to create a sub-procedure in VBA to copy and paste the data from invoice template to database sheet. In VBA module, create a sub-procedure for data transfer. First, define the variables. DIM source as worksheet. DIM destination as worksheet. DIM LR as long. Set the values for each variable. Set source is equal to this workbook dot sheets invoice. Set destination is equal to this workbook dot sheets database. LR is equal to database dot cells database dot rows dot count two dot end Excel up dot row plus one. This code will identify the last blank row in the database sheet where we need to transfer the data from invoice sheet. To copy and paste the invoice date from invoice sheet to the first column of database sheet, write this code. Source.range h1 dot copy. To paste it in column A of database sheet, write this code. Destination dot range A and LR dot paste special Excel paste value and number formats. Next, for the invoice number, copy and paste this code and do modification. Change H1 to H2 for invoice number cell and change column A to B. Similarly, for buyer's name, repeat the same method. Now, for the item description to after tax amount, Copy the whole range of B13 to H25. For this, the code is source dot range B13 to H25 dot copy. Destination dot range D and LR dot paste special Excel paste values and number formats. Now let's make an invoice with one item. Test the code by hitting on that Run button. Here you see the data has been transferred. However, this is working well because the invoice has only one item. But if you have multiple items in the invoice, this code still works but with some limitation. Let's create an invoice with multiple items and see what exactly is the limitation. Select Database Sheet and hit on that Run button. Here you see, data transferred successfully, but the invoice date, number, and buyer's name goes to one row only. So, we have to now copy and paste the invoice date, invoice number, and buyer's name till the last row where item name exists. Because this invoice date, number, and buyer name is common for all these five items. To automate this process, we have to extend the code further. For this, I will identify the difference between last row in item description column and last row in invoice number column. 
and then use the for next loop to copy and paste the invoice date, number, and buyer name in every next row for the number of times given by the difference. The idea here is the difference between last row of item column and invoice number column is four. So we need to copy and paste the invoice date, invoice number, and buyer name four times in every next rows. This will populate the details till the row where their last item name. Let's continue writing code. First, define the variables. Dim item LR as long. Dim invoice LR as long. Dim I as integer. Set the values of variables. Item LR is equal to destination dot cells, destination dot rows dot count for dot end XL up dot row. Invoice LR is equal to destination dot cells, destination dot rows dot count to dot end XL up dot row. This code identifies the last used row in item description column and last used row in the invoice number column. Next, write code for the value of i variable for the for next loop. For i is equal to 1 to item lr minus invoice lr. This will iterate the code for the number of times, which is the difference between last used row of item column and invoice number column. Next, write the code to execute by for next loop, which is the copy and paste of invoice date, invoice number, and buyer's name, till the last row where there is items. Destination dot range, A and LR and C and LR dot copy. Destination dot range, A and LR plus one and C and LR plus one dot paste special, XL paste values and number formats. LR equal to LR plus one. Next I. This for loop will fill the invoice date, number and buyer name details till the last row where there is item name. Now write code to exit from copy mode. Application dot cut copy mode is equal to false. Let me clear the invoice details from database sheet and test the code. Here you see the invoice date, number, and buyer's name are populated throughout all the rows till the last item of invoice. Next, we have to run this data transfer sub procedure every time user clicks on print and save invoice or save invoice button. For this, Go to print and save invoice procedure. Then below the save PDF code, write call data transfer. Similarly, in the save invoice procedure, insert the same code just below save PDF code line. Coding is complete. Let's test this to ensure everything works well. Open invoice backup folder and delete all saved invoices. Cancel this existing invoice and set the initial value of invoice number one. Delete all previous data from database sheet. Now, create a new invoice with only one item name. Click on Save Invoice button. Invoice saved as PDF and the data is automatically transferred to database sheet. Again, create another invoice with multiple items. Click on Save Invoice button. Invoice saved in PDF and data transferred to database sheet. Here you see, there was one item in first invoice and six items in the second invoice. So, this is all about automatically transferring the data of invoice to the database sheet. In the next part of this video, we will learn linking the invoice to invoice and payment tracker sheet based on the first payment first allocation method. If this video was useful, please give it a thumbs up by hitting on that like button. Also subscribe this channel for similar video tutorials.